Okay, so we have some financial information from a company called Dogs Inc. And on this problem, what we're going to do is calculate a number of variances. The first variance we want to calculate is one called the flexible budget revenue variance. All right, so to calculate the flexible budget revenue variance, we have to do a few calculations. All right, now I'm just going to put the numbers down here in Excel so that we can use them. All right, this is just an image. So down here, we're going to put the numbers in and we're, dro we're dropping in the revenues from above for actual and budget and we're dropping in the units sold, right? Right from above, actual and budget. And then we can calculate the average selling price. We just simply divide the revenue by the units sold for actual, do the same thing for the budget values. All right, now that we have that, we can calculate the flexible budget variance. Or first we have to calculate the flexible budget revenue amount. And how we do that, is we take the actual units sold times the budgeted selling price okay and this is the budgeted average selling price and when we do that we know that for a flexible budget given that we sold 9000 units we would expect the revenue to be 765000 so now we can calculate the flexible budget revenue variance and all we have to do is compare actual revenue to what we just calculated above in D22. Now, it's not showing up. If I click here, you can see the formula there. But when I hit the F2, it overrides so you can't see it. But it's essentially the difference between 756 and 765. And we see since actual is less than budget, it's unfavorable. That's why I have a U there. All right. Now, the next variance we want to look at is the sales volume revenue variance. Okay, now to do that, first let's calculate what the difference in units sold was. Well, it's 9,000 actual, 8,000 budget, so units sold was 1,000 more than the budget. So to calculate the sales volume revenue variance, now we take the budgeted average selling price times the unit sold variance or the number of units that was different that would be 1000 okay so if i look up here we're taking the value in cell d25 that's our unit sold 1000 which was more than budget so that's favorable and then anytime we're we're dealing with a volume variance you want to base it on the budgeted rate not the actual rate and in this case the rate we're talking about is the average selling price so that's 85,000 favorable. All right, so next let's look at the flexible budget direct materials variance. Okay, now the budgeted direct, oh, and I have that spelled wrong. Let me spell that correctly. The budgeted direct material cost per unit is 49.50. How did we calculate that? We take the 396,000 that was given and we divide it by the 8,000 units, the actual units sold. Okay, probably I should just reference that as cell D19. So the budgeted direct materials cost per unit is $49.50. Now, from there we can calculate the flexible material cost allowed which would be equal to the 9,000 actual units that we made times what we just calculated, the direct, uh, the direct material cost per unit, 49.50 times 9,000. Okay, that gives us 445,500. That would have been the flexible material cost allowed. So now we have to compare that, the 445,500. The 445, And we, we let me say that another way, another way. We know that the flex material cost allowed was 440, 445,500. So now if we take D25 times D28, so D28 is the 4950 times D25, 
we get the budgeted direct labor cost per unit times the difference, times the favorable or unfavorable variance. And, and in this case, that amount is unfavorable. Okay, why is it unfavorable? Because we were expecting to use less material. We actually used more material. Now we could also calculate that in a, in a more direct fashion if you prefer. Um, you could take 445,000, that number there, I'll just do it off to the side here, 445, and compare that to the 396 that was given, 396,000 right there. So we expected to do 396, we did 445, so the result is a difference of 49,500, but of course it's favorable. So I guess technically we should take the 396 minus cell D29, get rid of it in here. Okay, so 396 minus D29, and it shows you that yeah, we're actually unfavorable. We spent more uh, than what we wanted to. All right, now the last one we want to look at is the static budget revenue variance. And this just means, let's figure out on a static basis, how were we at, at revenue, right? And this is pretty straightforward. We simply take the difference in revenue. So the 756 versus 680. Well, our actual revenue was higher, so that's favorable. 756 minus 680 gives us 76,000. Okay, I get this away at this point. Get that out of the way so that's not confusing. And you can see we've tackled a few variances here. Hope you found this helpful.